Now at six, friends and family remember a 17-year-old gunned down at his own Miami Gardens apartment complex. Today, they laid Roderick Sweeting to rest. Good evening, I'm Walter McCullough. The teen was walking home from school when three gunmen shot him at least 20 times. A trio of juveniles have been arrested for the shooting. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from Miami Gardens. Donna. Walter, the funeral service ended about an hour ago. The space here at the temple filled with people, very emotional, all of them in tears. Dozens joined the heartbroken parents of 17-year-old Roderick Sweeting to honor the teen who was ambushed and gunned down last week just steps from his home. Family call this funeral more of a homecoming service for the teen. The large Bethel Apostolic Temple in Northwest Miami-Dade packed inside, not a dry eye anywhere. He was the type of young man that gave love and he always smiled. And by all the people showing up, his peers, his teachers, it was a blessing to see how much love he shared in the schools and in the community. The one bit of relief for Sweeting's grieving family is that police arrested three teens and prosecutors intend to try them as adults. These are the three teens accused of ambushing Sweeting and his brother in a shooting so brutal, police say the bullets severed their target's spinal cord. Investigators say surveillance video, fingerprints lifted from the fence surrounding the Miami Gardens apartment complex where Sweeting lived, and witnesses confirm 15-year-old Devon Vickers, 15-year-old Kwame McMillian, and 16-year-old Rashid Jack were the killers. The arrest report says all three fired their weapons and shot Roderick Sweeting more than 20 times. Back at the funeral, his aunt tells us the family grieves for their own loss, but also for the mothers of the three accused killers. Our hearts go out to them also, but they have to stop the violence. They need to put the guns down, put God first, then their education. Now the three accused teens remain in juvenile detention and they will remain there until their next court hearing. That is, of course, unless a grand jury decides they should be tried as adults before that hearing. In Miami-Dade, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News.